I haven't done curls in years. I, I love body weight training, so. Baby, you bad for me, like drugs in my veins. You bring me up just to fall in deeper. What is Pop the Fam, and welcome to this episode of The Road to Recovery. I know I've been just not here for a little while. We're here at Gold's Gym. I don't really train here anymore. Uh, I'm more of an Equinox guy. I like to be alone, heads, uh, headphones in, and just really, really focused, but we're here, and we're about to get into an awesome upper body workout. I have recovered a lot over the past couple of weeks, a lot. I'm gonna show you some handstands. I'm gonna show you where I am today, and let's jump right into it. All right, with this movement, we're going neutral grip, chest supported rows. So my arms, and sorry for the pounding of the bag over there, my man Tito's getting after it. Um, really hitting 80 pounds, six reps, and then we're gonna be shooting on over to close grip bench, which I haven't been able to do in over a year, so let's get it. You took the air that I breathe. Feeling so good till you tear through my heart. Can't cover the scars anymore, baby. There's blood in the sky, and birds can fly, and I'm losing my mind. You run through me like. The key here is to make sure your arms are coming from the side of your body right here, so up here, okay? So this is where my position is going to be. I also want to make sure I'm depressing and contracting my scalps. No pain in my shoulder. Even through the close grip, there's no pain. A little tension, for the most part. I'm pretty close to being healed, yeah? Yeah. You say so? Definitely. Like this close? I'd say you 90, 95. Soon enough, muscle ups, 36. It's coming back, baby. All right, so I'm actually just demonstrating right now, but we just did a 10 minute round of what you do curls. And by the way, I haven't done curls in years. Like, I, I love body weight training, so anytime I do any type of movement for my biceps, really, well, outside of rows and certain weighted movements, it's all through body weight. So, bicep headbangers, you guys know that. Also, controlled. Um, time under tension, bicep curls on the parallel bars, you know? So uh, right here, what we're doing is just going back and forth for literally 10 minutes straight. We're doing bicep curls here, okay? And then we come on over here, and we do bicep extension. And you wanna be as fast, but proper technique as possible, right? So you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's called EDT, so it's all about endurance training, and it's 10 minutes, absolutely brutal, right? It's destroying. It destroyed, <laughs> it destroyed. So you should definitely try it out. Now, let's go check out my physique. I know I didn't show you too much of my workout, but let's go. All right, so we're out back, and we're about to do some handstands while I'm exhausted, so I'm pumped. I'm like blown up, right? And so, what I've been doing for the past two weeks is when I am exhausted, I don't wanna try this when I'm 100%. I wanna go into handstands when I'm exhausted because that is gonna help me with my planche. It's gonna help me with all my body weight movements when I'm 100%, right? So, let's jump into it. Let's see where I'm at. Let's see what I do. Remember, I haven't done this in a long, long time, so here we go. You see how I stopped myself and like I could stabilize even in that position. So one thing I'm trying to train is, you know, even if I squirm out of it or I freak out while I'm in my handstand, I know if I move my hand, stabilize core, tighten up, even when I'm exhausted. So you can try this yourself. Even push yourself into like this, this movement of where you have to stabilize. So check this out, something like this. All right, so you go into your handstand. Go on your hands and oh my gosh, try and stabilize. And just literally go into that movement. Handstand, hold it, then move a little bit and squirm. So you have to stabilize, hold it for about a half a second, then drop. Soon enough, when you move into any other position, you'll be able to stabilize because your core is obviously I'm not strong enough. My stabilization just yet, but I'll get there. 
Now, let's check out my physique. All right, so we're all the way in the back right now, showing you my physique. We got the guy, Joe Schmontuni, hitting the bag over there, so it might be a little bit too loud. That's not his name at all, but <laughs> let me show you my physique. So this is where I currently am, okay? And I think, you know, I'm, I've been really zoning in on my nutrition. John Scupatini is over there hitting that bag hard. But I've been really, really zoning in on my nutrition, really focusing on multiple things. I'm eating a lot of zucchini squash. I'm eating a lot of cucumber. I have a lot of shakes, right? So I juice, and then I also have uh, blueberry and then multiple superfoods. So I have maca, I have cacao, and I have other things that are in my uh, blended shake. I also put MCT oil. So I'm focusing on a very, very healthy diet while getting back to my 100% self even further. I'm actually stronger in some areas because of these injuries now. I'm super excited for that. But, you know, this is where I'm at. I think, you know, I'm making progression and I'm super excited for it. So, as we continue on this series, I know I haven't been here for a couple of weeks, but sometimes a video will come out of nowhere and you'll be able to see new stuff, really exciting things, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and the flow of it, a little bit different, but thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already, comment down below, hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed, we'll see you next time. <laughs>